Hiya my little pom bears, I'm Maya and today's video is going to be another challenge video, I love these! And another subscriber suggested I do this and I love the idea so I was like, yes girl, yes. Today's challenge video is going to be a full fizz of makeup backwards. Backwards. That means I do my full usual makeup routine but everything I put on first I put on last and vice versa. Oh no. I'm really, really interested to see how this turns out, so without further ado, I'm gonna take my makeup off and let's get right into it. Up close and personal once again, I have no makeup on and I'm all ready to go. If you actually do your normal makeup in a different order to me, that's all right, this is just my order, backwardized. That's probably not a word. So in my list of makeup, you know, stuff backwards, the thing that I should be doing first is lipstick. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do lipstick. <laughs> Today I am using something I got recently and I am loving it. It is the Clinique Chubby Stick Intense Moisturising Balm Femajig in the shade Roomiest Rose. That's a bit of a weird adjective, isn't it? Oh yeah, you're roomy. You're so roomy, Jeremy. You're so roomy. Is that a compliment? I, I don't even know. Looking good so far, guys. Five stars. Five out of ten. Five out of ten? No, not five out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ignore me. Next on my magical list of makeup orders, it is mascara. I am using the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara Waterproof because this is a really, really good mascara. And I'm just going to apply this to the top and bottom like normal. This mascara is on. Real. Next on the list of things to do is actually eyeshadow. It's gonna feel really, really unnatural to do that after mascara, so. <sighs> I am going to be using the W7 in the buff palette. I am loving this at the moment. And I'm just gonna kind of do a kind of natural smoky eye thing in the jig. I think it's banging. I'm just gonna start off with this kind of creamy beigey color all over the lid to make a base. It's falling down onto my eyelashes, so it looks really weird. This honestly feels ridiculously unnatural. Now I'm just gonna go in with this kind of mauve browny shadow shade. This bit isn't so hard because it's not touching the eyelashes at all. Quite a lot of people actually do their eyeshadow before their face makeup. I'm not one of those people, but quite a few people do, so up until now, really, it'll just be normal. So hey, welcome to this makeup tutorial. <laughs> now we're going in for a cheeky bit of Rich Espresso by Bobbi Brown to make it all Murky. Once again, it's increasingly becoming difficult when the eyelashes are there. And I'm just going to take that colour under the lash line as well to smoke it all out together. Once again, this is getting a bit more difficult because the bottom of my eyelashes are done with mascara. Oh, I forgot it. Okay, yeah, quick warning, it's easy to get your eyelashes in your eyes if you do that. It was a bit difficult doing the eyeshadow, but overall, feeling it. Failing it. Next up on the agenda is eyebrows. And I'm using my trusty NYX eyebrow cake powder. I'm sorry guys, I have reverted to this. I need to like go in eyebrow rehab because I can't stop using this. I'm an addict. I'm just gonna do my Pizza Hut eyebrows as normal. If you need to do some maths revision, just do calculate the angle of Maya's eyebrows. Work it, girl. <laughs> it's blush next. And as you can tell, I have no face makeup on and I have very, very naturally red skin. So I think this is going to make me look really weird. I'm using Benefit Coralise to blush. It smells lovely though. <laughs> Am I weird? <laughs> it's still not as bad as I thought it'd be, which is like lifesaver. Looks all right when I'm here. Next up is a highlighter, which you guessed it is once again going to accentuate all the spots and the redness on my face. Woohoo! So for this, I'm going to use something I've been loving recently. It is a little gem. It is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil in the shade Illuminating Mineral Veil. It's glittery AF. Doesn't look that bad, actually. Quite happy with that. This is a really good highlighter as well. Like, damn, girl, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> Next up is bronzer. I've been loving bronzing recently. And I'm using the Bare Minerals All Over Face Colour in Warmth. Damn, Maya. Back at it again with the Bare Minerals. It looks like I've highlighted other places on my face other than this. It's not. It's oily skin. <laughs> We're starting to put face makeup over 
this stuff that I've got on already. So next up is powder and I'm using the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation in the shade Ivory. I just opened the wrong compartment, let's ignore that. I'm just going to put this all over my face because that's what I do with powder. I mean it is good for covering up Big Bert here, the spot. He's joined the family, he's so big he deserves his own name. But you can still see some of the highlights showing through, which I guess kind of shows this product to not be very good because it's made, meant to make your face matte. Whoops. This is where it starts to go drastically wrong. Concealer. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer for under my eyes. Do I look good yet? Just going to bounce this in with Beauty Blender and hope it settles. <laughs> It's not at all. It's not moving. Like for real, it's not moving. Next step is where we cover up everything we've done and all the hard work in the past half an hour I've spent on doing this video. Foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 112. Oh crap, yeah, it's not settling over the powder. Oh, I didn't think of that, did we? What I'm noticing is it's definitely blending a lot better than the concealer, which is confusing. I mean, it's still not good, it's awful. As you all know, you put foundation on as a base and then add colour as you go to make yourself look more human. Well, I've just covered all that up, haven't I? I look like this wall, this wall. That's been freshly painted if you can't tell new background. Yeah. And the step which I know will just ruin everything is primer. Primer is obviously the first thing you put on your face, so it's going to be the last thing I put on mine. And as you all probably know as well, primer is something you put on your fingers and massage in your entire face. I've got makeup on. Do you think this is going to go well? This is the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. Love this shiz at the moment. Got some primer. I'm not looking at the camera or the viewfinder. I want to put primer on like I normally do. My fingers are covered in foundation. I don't want to talk about it. It's a hard time in my life. Look at this. This is so wrong. It's actually rubbed everything off and it's made it so cakey and horrible. Save me. If you didn't know, I did this completely in reverse. You'd be like, oh, that just looks like normal makeup. I'm hoping. If you are not subscribed already and you're watching this right now, make sure to go down there and click that red button. It is completely free. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to do this video, go for it. Nothing's stopping you. The world's your oyster. See you later, my little cherubs. Bye. OMG, it's Maya. She has sorted out a certain attire with makeup moments, lifestyle too. You'll never get bored. OMG, it's Maya.